the day. I'm telling you, they should make our commercial break a show on its own. Uh, still with us, Grammy winning gospel singer, superstar, songwriter, actress, author, Kara Shear. Kara has been talking about her new book, The Vibes You Feel. And in the book, you do talk about finding inner peace in your relationship. You say when you met Jordan Kelly, yeah. cue the picture that your eyes were open and now you've been married two years. Yes. What was it about him? What? Yes, give it up for love. Yes. Well, I ask you because I know that you've been open and you talked about before toxic relationships and that also meant a love cycle sometimes that didn't fit the queen you are. Yes, yes, exactly. And I, I will admit, for a long time, I was trying to make every boyfriend a spouse. That was my problem. Oh. And so because um, I wasn't getting the memo, I kept <laughs> knocking my head. And then finally, I took some time for myself, enjoyed my singleness, and then I saw what I needed. Right. Not just what I wanted. What did you think you needed? I thought I needed the bad guy, you know, the thuggish, ruggish bomb. Wait, 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 wait. So this obviously was a rebellion against being raised in a it conservative was. setting. Yes, ma'am. That happens all the time. You want the opposite of what you've been around. Yes, ma'am. And I think, too, you know, when you grow and you mature and you tap in with God, he'll have you to redefine some things because for a long time, I allowed culture to define what a good relationship is for me. What do you mean by that? Um, so, um... You know, when we watch a lot of television, sometimes we are intrigued by what we see. And we, um, sometimes the dysfunction can be a thrill for us when we're young. And that was the part that was messing me up. Cause yeah. I start, that's when I started becoming immune to what I was rehearsing. So it became a practice for me. But we have a steady diet of, you know, the bad boys are alluring, good guys finish last. And yes. so then suddenly you find yourself sometimes attracted to the fire, yes. not understanding you can get burned. Yes. And, and then there is some heat that yeah. will refine you though. Absolutely. So it's getting into the right fire. Ah, okay, well, <laughs> which brings me to how you, you, you wrote about Jordan, uh, your husband, in a very fiery way. Yes. You say, we first started dating. The deep manly texture of his voice made me fall in love. Yes. I love Wait, him. Wait, there's more. <laughs> this part, this is the part you said, I began looking forward to calling just to hear him say anything to me. Yes, ma'am. We need to hear this voice. How? Well, here's the deal. You don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, Lord. Hey, babe. I love you. I miss you. Congratulations on your book. You know I'm your number one supporter, so you're doing big things. The number one thing that I love about my wife is her voice. She can sing a house down. She can pray a house down. Whenever she speaks, it feels like the room is about to move. Whenever she speaks, I feel God's love in the room. I love my baby. Love that sweet voice. You keep speaking. You keep being a boss. Keep being independent, and I'm going to keep supporting you. So many things I can say, so little time. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to drink some water. Because <laughs> all of this hot, steamy vibe, love. Uh, okay, you're going to make me cry, too. Oh, God. This is what happens when you come to the table. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I mean, you deserve this. We all deserve it. Thank we you. all deserve it. And that you are sharing this is so special because you could come out here, this superstar with awards and fame and wealth and all of this, and pretend that it wasn't a struggle to get here. Mm -hmm. And I love that you are so authentic Thank in you. who you are. And that's why this book resonates. Thank you. Thank you. That's why it resonates. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I know you loved him at first sight, but what did the family, because I don't know what it must be like to take home somebody <laughs> to the Clark sisters family. <laughs> like, but he, but he, you knew him your whole life, but it's different when you're like, Hey, he's not my friend, but now he's family. And by the way, the Clark sisters made history with this film on Lifetime. I believe it was the highest rated. Yes. Um, yes. 
It broke records on Lifetime. You played your mother. Yes. This like went down as iconic history. I know it's a difficult balance because you, you have legacy, but you wanted your own voice and your own legacy. Yes. And you yes. got the... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I still got to go back to Jordan when he has to come home and say, okay, I'm not just in the friend zone anymore. I'm now in the gonna be husband zone. Yes. What was that like? It was really special. And um, I think for me, marriage is beautiful because you always have someone that's committed to you. And, you know, sometimes you can go out in the world and everybody is not as committed to you. You know, tomorrow it may be another gospel singer that's doing it just as good as I. But when I get home to Jordan, he gonna be like, you, you always my singer. Oh singer. my God. <laughs> You know, so. This book is a life book. Yeah. This is a life book. It is a vibe book. And I'm so proud of you. Congratulations you. on this. Kara's <laughs> book, The Vibes You Feel, yes. is out tomorrow. Yes. And you know what I feel like right now? I feel like you all deserve to get your own signed copy. <laughs> Thank you so much.